So generally, there are two ways you can improve your finances. You're either cutting back on costs or increasing your income. These two ways have proven to be successful over the years. And while I always encourage people to see ways they can actually cut costs, I always recommend to prioritize increasing your income because that way you have more to spend to live the life of your dreams and you can even save more. So what are some ways you can improve your income without cutting back on cost or preventing yourself from living the life that you actually enjoy? So the first way is to actually switch jobs. This is usually the most comfortable, the easiest way for most people to level up their income. So if you've been at your current job for over a year now, maybe it's time to brush up your resume and start applying for a new job, update your LinkedIn, acquire some new skills, or just learn some new things that you can use in helping you land a new job. This is typically called job hopping. And it's usually the easiest and comfortable for most people because you literally don't have to do too much and remember it will probably take you between three to six months to actually find a new job so once you have spent one year at your current job it might be time for you to start applying for new ones and when you are applying for jobs you can make sure to prioritize jobs that pay you more than your current jobs jobs that you would earn more you can learn more also be sure to negotiate for even more pay compared to what they are actually offering you negotiate for better benefits vacation days time off all of that negotiate for more so if you do any of this you might be able to land yourself a new job which will typically place you in a position where you have been able to level up your income next is for you to learn a new skill this is typically the most underrated way to level up your finances if you invest in yourself you stand the potential to earn more money not just from your job but you can also market yourself to land yourself other kind of gigs and you just become more marketable out there so this is something that most people don't think about most people once they get their job they just stick there as long as the job continues to pay them they don't do anything more for themselves but you want to stand out from the crowd you want to be different and in order to do this you have to invest in yourself by learning a new skill i'll use myself as an example now that i've become a full-time content creator i took a program last year which is the creator accelerator program to help me learn to become a better creator and i've also recently just completed a travel mentorship program as well that is helping me to become a better travel creator both programs definitely cost thousands of dollars but it was really important to me that i improve my skill set as a creator this is not a traditional job where you learn something in school and you have to apply it in real life most times as content creator you have to learn from your own mistake and improve from there on but if you want to take several step ahead you have to invest in a program like this and that was exactly what i did so for yourself as well you can think about those career paths or things that are of interest to you find ways to learn new skills it doesn't have to always cost a lot of money it doesn't always have to even cost money at all it might just cost you some time but just make sure you're investing in yourself next way is for you to invest in stocks or etfs if you currently have an investment it might be time for you to increase your investment if you don't it's a good time for you to start you can invest using brokerage platforms like Wealth Simple in Canada or Robin Hood in the US. Just invest in stocks or ETFs. Be sure to also take some time to learn how investing works in your country or wherever you reside to help you actually start investing. And if you're able to automate the process so that you don't have to always remember when it's time to hey add some money to my investment once it's automated it continues to go on and on and you don't have to take any action on your end so i highly recommend if it's something that you've not started you probably should the next way for you to level up your income is to get a second job i know you probably don't want to hear this and i feel you on that 100 percent but let me tell you this is probably the most realistic and the most effective way for you to start making more money i see a lot of people doing two full-time jobs some people have a part-time job and a full-time job some people do jobs on the weekend some in the evenings just put up some extra time into work take up more hours at work if you can or get a second job just so that you can make more money now i understand that this approach can lead to burnout which is why you have to set a time frame for yourself so it's either you are saving towards a goal like maybe you're saving for a down payment towards 
buying a property or you're paying down your credit card loan or your student loan something like that just have a goal in mind so that you don't continue to work two jobs or work multiple hours into eternity otherwise you're going to get burnt out from doing that but once you have a goal in mind work towards it there is no harm in working multiple jobs to make more money trust me at the end of the day it's the money in your own bank account that counts whatever people have to say about it it doesn't matter next is to actually start a side hustle i know people also don't like this hustle culture but it's what it is if you live in a country like canada or in the us the uk this capitalist economy would have you in chokehold. You have no choice but to continue to work to make money to sustain the life that you love. And if you, the easiest kind of side also you can start is something that is of interest to you or a hobby that you already have. Just grow on it and find ways to monetize it. I see people selling their crafts on Etsy. I see people selling their skills as a freelance job. I also see people offering tutoring online. So just find something that aligns with your interest or skill set and start to offer it as a service in order to make more money listen this is probably going to be the next easiest way to make more money because when people are thinking of how to get a second job how to make more money instead of saying you're going to be applying for jobs and you have multiple jobs that you're working on at this point in time starting a side hustle is very much flexible within your control and you can determine how much hours you're willing to work so this is really not on the same level as working two jobs but it also works in order to earn you extra income i also know that side hustles is not for everyone but if this interests you i do have a video that i'll link up here or here that is going to be on 30 side hustles that you can learn within three months and you can monetize so go check out those videos and see which one would work for you next is to actually start a business i know this might be the hardest or take the longest to materialize or convert to income yes i know but most of the successful people you see out there they have a form of business that brings them money a business makes profit by solving a problem so if you have solutions to problems that people have you can offer it and make money off of that and i know starting a business is usually not the easiest but if you commit to it long enough it's likely to convert and be the most beneficial way for you to make even more money next is for you to combine multiple streams i know we've talked about learning a new skill taking up a second job switching jobs starting a side hustle starting a business all of this might be difficult to put all together but you can combine maybe two or three of them in order for you to level up your income it's very possible i've seen people combine active streams of income alongside passive streams of income just find ways that you can seamlessly combine it into your schedule to make more money and if you are wondering that what is passive income i've never heard of that it's just a way for you to make money while typically you are asleep you get it is a way to make money that doesn't require so much time or commitment to it like the traditional sources of income like working a job um doing a second job starting a business it's more so passive because you just have to sometimes do the job upfront or requires low efforts continuously in order to make money some of these passive income streams could include things like selling digital templates selling planners online even sometimes content creation as well so there are so many ways you can make money using passive income streams look into that and combine it with active streams of income to multiply your income sources next is for you to budget and save smarter i know sometimes people don't like to hear budgeting they think of it as restrictive they think of it as being stingy to yourself absolutely not budget just helps you see where your money goes and make sure that you can track your income and your expenses if you have a budget you'll be able to manage your money effectively it would also help you see extra funds that you can have and you can dedicate them towards your other money goals you can also automate your savings by budgeting because now you know how much money you want to save from your income and you can see it clearly then you can automate it into your savings account or even if it's an investment but budgeting is a very significant part of managing your finances that would help you reach your goals i do have a budget template i'll leave the link below you should go check it out next is networking and mentorship people underrate this way to improve your finances and i've talked about this a lot on instagram on social media where i express how important it is to get mentorship it has changed my life a lot it has changed the life of people that i've mentored as well 
and i just see it as a big game changer i've learned from people directly that i've walked the path that i want to go through and just learning directly from them has just changed the game and prevented me from making the mistakes that they have made in the early stage of their journey and even mistakes that i would have made if i was doing it by myself mentorship has definitely changed the game for me and i encourage you to seek mentorship if you can as well at the same time networking just see these days some of the jobs that you see out there they are not even going to be posted publicly but you just getting a referral from someone that is already in that company changes the game for you. And one problem that I see that people have when it comes to networking is they just make build relationship with people and they start asking for help. It shouldn't be that way. You need to nurture the relationship. Let it grow. Let it flourish. Don't just keep reaching out to people and making them feel like you are using them to get benefit for yourself. You want to nurture it, try to build it, offer value to them, try to build the communication and stay in touch. Then if at all at any point in time you need them for anything, now that you've been consistently reaching out and being in touch with them, they will be willing to help you. But don't just send somebody maybe a connection request on LinkedIn and the next day you're asking them to help you get a job in their company. They'll just look at you like, what the heck do you mean? And that is why people have problems with networking that is not working for them. It's because you did not nurture a relationship. You just reached out to someone thinking that they would help you. That is you feeling entitled. And no one is obligated to help you with anything. So you have to be intentional about nurturing and building that relationship hoping that in the future you can get something out of it so connect with professionals in your industry seek out mentors who can offer guidance and opportunities to you networking can lead to job opportunities a promotion new business venture and other opportunities that can help you improve your finances and lastly pay off high interest debt you might be wondering how does this actually help me level up my finances let me tell you when you get a high interest debt like credit card or some loans, you're going to be paying off a lot of money in interest and paying more money in interest takes out money from your pocket, right? So you want to prioritize paying off those high interest debt so that you can have more money in your pocket that, that is supposed to go towards like interest cost and all of that. So prioritize paying off any high interest debt that you have and you'll be able to see your finances increase. So how can you actually strategize towards paying off your high interest debt? Start with those that have very high interest rates. You can also start with those that are in smaller amount, pay those ones off first, then focus on the ones that have bigger amount. But just make sure that you're putting down something towards paying your high interest debt as often as possible. So there you have it, 10 ways to level up your income and improve your finances. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below with other ways that you know that people can level up their income so they can take advantage of that. And let me know if you have questions as well. I'll leave the link to my savings tracker as well as my budget templates in the description box. Go check them out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.